Okay, this is a video response to AL14, who did a res uh, response to one of my videos, Fur Fags and the N-Word. And AL14, I had told you I was going to get to you, and I did eventually. You know, I, I had a choice, though, because eventually the Black Hand posed a question to me. The Black Hand, too, and I had a choice between responding to you and him. And his response, his, his questioning seemed more serious. You know, like he actually gave a rat's ass what I thought. So I decided, you know, Black Hand 2, I think I'll respond to him first. But he basically asked me the same thing. You know, why I trolled furries. You, know, you said, why hate furries? See, that's the thing. I don't really hate furries. You know, I honestly, you know, don't you think that if I hated furries, I'd be doing something other than trolling you on the internet? Seriously, I would be out at Anthrocon putting pipe bombs under your cars. That's what I'd be doing if I truly hated you. But as for why I troll furries, well, in addition to what I told the Black Hand, the Black Hand 2, I'm going to tell you, I troll furries because the community is full of people just like you. You know, if you know the history of furries on the internet, the first furries to migrate off of the furry websites were people who were into yef porn. And they didn't really keep it to themselves. They put it on 4chan, Live Journal. Hey, hell, they they took over DeviantArt, which wasn't a furry website. So the first people to do it were YIF porn aficionados, migrating off of the furry websites, spamming their YIF porn all over the place, and then and then they asked the mundanes, "Isn't this lovely and special and beautiful?" And then when mundanes, who weren't trolls, by the way, said, no, this is sick and disgusting. Furries, the furries that came said, ah, you're Nazis, ah, you criticized us, ah, you're Nazis. You know, they couldn't take, they couldn't take what they had asked for. They asked, what do you think? It got a reply. And... You know, it's like the old rock song says, don't ask me what I think of you, I might not give the answer that you want me to. And then other furries showed up and defended the people who were into YIF porn. You know? <laughs> and they also said, you're a Nazi. So you called me a Nazi in your response video? Sorry, but, you know, I know you think you've come up with something new. You haven't. See, let me explain Godwin's Law to you. As a conversation on the internet goes on longer and longer, the odds of somebody, one side or the other, calling the other a Nazi, approaches one. That's what Godwin's Law is. Now, as an argument goes on longer and longer on the, on the internet, the odds of people calling each other asshole, motherfucker, words like that, also approaches one. So why is there a word for calling somebody, so why is there a law for calling somebody a Nazi, but not any other word? Well, that's because calling somebody a Nazi is tied to a logical fallacy. Have you ever heard of the logical fallacy known as appeal to emotion? Well, that is very much what calling somebody a Nazi is, especially when it's unfounded. You know, I mean, do you really, are you really dumb enough to think that I can kill millions of Jews over the internet? You know, or that I even want to? Now, that's another thing. Why? Why do you furries always compare yourselves to an oppressed racial minority? I mean, that is just fucking retarded. You know, <laughs> it's one of the... It's one of the main reasons why you've been getting trolled for all these years. You do not learn. You know, you just don't learn. You furries keep repeating the same mistakes over and over and over. Furries just like you, AL14. You know, you are the reason why the furry fandom keeps getting trolled. You furries just like you want to be trolled. Furries just like you want the entire fandom to be trolled. You know, it, <laughs> I can't believe you actually had to ask why hate furries or why dislike them, why hold the furry fandom in contempt. 
You know, that's another thing. Furries just like you that either enjoy YIF porn, spam YIF porn, or defend those who do. You know, furries just like you, I'm going to use that again, furries just like you have managed to ruin something that was innocent. You have managed to ruin what they call in the comics industry funny animal characters. You have managed to ruin Disney. You have managed to ruin Warner Brothers cartoons. And a lot of other things. Garfield. You know, for fuck's sake. <laughs> because, you know, I'm afraid to let my kids watch cartoons with, you know, funny animal characters in them anymore. Because that's probably how a lot of you started out. I'm afraid that they'll watch Disney and it might lead them to the internet, and it might lead them to the furry fandom, and then it might lead them to the darker side of the internet. The darker side of the furry fandom. And yes, there is pornography on the internet. The pornography on the internet makes me want to keep my kids off the internet until they're adults. But the furry fandom makes me not only want to keep them away from the internet, but also to keep them away from Walt Disney and Warner Brothers, etc., etc. You know, you furries have managed to basically ruin a part of Western culture. And you, you act like that's no big deal. <laughs> so, you think that furries are all innocent and stuff? You know, quit viewing your own fandom through rose-colored glasses. Yeah, really. Think about it. Anyway, this message has been brought to you by the Fried Chicken Trolling Crew, and oh yeah, another thing, AL14. Since I, since these videos really just aren't long enough, I've been thinking about writing a book about your fandom. Yeah, I'm seriously considering it now. I mean, I've got a lot of material for it, so be looking for it. If I decide to do it, I'll let everybody know. It'll just, I'll just, you know, tell more about that in future videos. So, anyway, this message has been brought to you by the Fried Chicken Trolling Crew and abombsworld.com.